Sintra. If you're wondering why it's quite bumpy, that's because Stephanie's driving. Keep left onto Calçada de São Pedro. surrounded by palace walls and various palaces. Gosh, there's something amazing up there. Oh, wow. Well. Wow, look at all these people looking at the gates. Oh, sorry for the bumpiness of my filming. There's nothing I can do about it. Speak to the roads. Not the driver. Do you feel like walking? Not really. In half a mile, make a sharp right turn. Here we go. That's not a sharp right. That's what we like to call a U-turn. Quinta da Bella Vista. Oliver has instructions to find the butler on the roof. Welcome to Quinta de Bala Vista, a beautiful place. Where it is beautiful. And the sun is shining right now. It's just making it amazing for you. Yes, absolutely. Uh, this is the former property of Sir Francis Cook, who was an explorer. He used to own the entire valley of Sintra, maybe 200 years back. Yes. And with the time, most of the property went to government, some went to the private owners. And then followed by him, was Arthur Cannon Doyle who wrote Sherlock Holmes and so his son Adrian while staying here finished unfinished stories of Sherlock Holmes Ooh. and uh, the current owner Mr. Alex and Aileen own this place for almost 15 years and you see what they have done so we, we are in a beautiful Sintra town right now which is uh, which is near to the Pena Palace Ragalera is just 15 minutes walk from our main property yes on the right side we have Montserrat Palace that you see right over there it's one of the most visited palace in the entire Sintra. And recently, the owner of this property has bought that second property, which you see up there. And we are planning to create a 30 room hotel there, which will which will make our guest uh, enjoy the luxury in an extended level. How exciting. Yeah. We create magic for every couple who has their special day celebrated in the property. So you have a lot of weddings here, do you? Yeah, we do. And we do retreats. We do some culinary classes. We do retreats, yoga sessions. Well, you feel the yes. magic as soon as you arrive. Yes. Definitely. And Ollie, yeah. do you think you're going to be inspired to write a few more Sherlock Holmes novels? Possibly, yes. To tonight? <laughs> So, so uh, here we have uh, the, the entire property is divided into different categories. This part of the property is called the Palazzo, where yes. we have seven luxurious suites. And it has an amazing living space where the guests uh, come and they rent this place. But also, if you want to actually enjoy the exclusivity of the entire property, you have to book it completely. This is a home. This is not a hotel. Yes. So when we say a home it's also the owners stay here most of the time right now no they are not here but most of the time they are here to also enjoy this beautiful place it's always a pleasure to welcome everyone who come in this room thank you very thank you much, so much. erica our in-house chef has created this beautiful chattery boat for you to welcome you the plan was to make sure that you come and enjoy. When, when we have guests in house, we make sure that they have something as a welcome uh, amenity from our end. So we try to create some magic with some assorted fruit, some deep, this is feta dip with some garlic and feta added with some olive oil and served to you. Some different types of cold cuts, some homemade bread made in the house itself oh, wow. and of course some sparkling wine for you. We'd like to go for more of bio food 
We have our own farm where we have animals like goat, duck, chicken, geese. Oh, wow. We get fresh eggs every morning from our chicken. In paradise. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. We have walked into paradise. Yeah. We also get fresh goat milk every morning. Our milkman comes and he milks the fresh goat. <laughs> We offer them during breakfast. It's it goes very nice with the black coffee. Oh, that sounds perfect. Just just perfect. to add, yeah. I feel as though we stepped into Marie Antoinette's amour, like yes. her farm. And also, sometimes when we there are times when we have babies, a lot of babies from the goat, which means flow of milk. So a lot of milk come, and we end up. Erica, our in-house chef, she ends up uh, making some goat cheese. When we are booking the palace. As we know that palace is part of the owner's stay also, so we try to rent the entire property of the palace only if somebody books it exclusively. Mm. So let's go in and see the first room that's called the garden suite. Temperature here is amazing. It's a very microclimate. Every time when the sun sets, you know the weather automatically the temperature drops down. <laughs> Moving forward, the second room is called the Heritage Suite. The Heritage Suite is amazingly beautiful because it comes with a beautiful balcony. Mm -hmm. So the view. I'm sorry, the room is so beautiful, but <laughs> I can barely look at yeah. the room, which I love. Yeah. Look at the view. Yeah. When you go outside the room after you. You have oh, the amazing view. Oh, oh. oh my word. <gasps> oh, this is ridiculously amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in heaven. Gosh, I've never seen a hotel. Well, not, sorry, not a hotel. It's no. a home. I've never seen a, a view like this from a, from a balcony. Going down there is our main pool area. Over there is the farm where we have vegetables and everything. So these are the two rooms where you both will be staying in for tonight. Oh, thank you so much. What condition was the property in when um, the owners bought it? Uh, you can say it was kind of an abandoned situation. Oh, right. When they brought this property, you had the structure still there, but it was not in a condition where somebody can stay in. It was in a condition which really needed a renovation. Okay. So and uh, completely renovated from zero. Wow. Yeah, so it's amazing to see the place the way it is. All of a sparkling red wine. Thank you so did, much. Did you... We're going in a gold cart, Ollie. It's all my Christmas has come at once. So these are some lemon trees, lime trees that you see yeah. next to each other. Is this where the weddings take place? Yes, the owner basically planned to create this beautiful theater here, the stage, to allow the guests to enjoy the beautiful forest view. 50% of the guests prefer to have their own arch or own stage here with the ocean view. Okay. Yes, I was going to say the ocean view is delightful, but I yeah. think the house view might be even better. Yeah. So the sun rises just behind us and it goes all over from the top to the ocean right there. So when it's sunset, it's beautiful. That's Amazingly great. beautiful, yeah. What a place so, to get married. Ollie, would you like to join me on my terrace tonight for sunset? I think so, yeah. Definitely. A little glass of sparkling wine? Yeah, I'm just, I'm, my, my jaw is just keeps dropping. 
Oh, yeah. In the lawn area, they do their cocktail and reception, and then from the green, uh, from the lawn area, they move to the greenhouse, where they have their dinner and after party. <laughs> Many oh, couples. I can't dance. Just so but you. but uh, <laughs> people will make you dance for sure if you, if you are there. Yeah, we'll take, the, we'll take a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> In the main palace, we have a bigger pool, which is heated with underwater sound system. Oh really? Yeah. I've abandoned you on the back, Ollie. I know. Oh, probably just... wise. Tuck your tag in. Hold on tight, Ollie. We don't want to lose you. So we are going back from the secret passage. Evening cocktail. Greenhouse is enormous. It's yes. vast. What a beautiful greenhouse. Yes, and here we have beautiful grapefruit. When they are ready, we really oh. enjoy the juice of the grapefruit. So you can just pick your grapefruit yes. on the way to dinner. Yes. It's amazing. It's full of grapefruit. Laden. nice walnut that we have received from our plant so let's go in our beautiful animals oh the geese we come in peace oh hello darling you see up there there are some eggs right up there hanging in the basket oh we already got yes. eggs yeah you can go in and take to see them there are eggs there ready for tomorrow's breakfast oh. yeah the, t the team collect them in the night and also in the morning they will come back and they will collect some more hello madam <laughs> dovecot they are very lovely yeah. they are oh i love goats <laughs> okay then let's play with the goats <laughs> i can just try to put some... oh, oh, hello very pleased to meet you all of them are looking at you. <laughs> and so apparently we may be trying your milk tomorrow, ladies. Yes. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at this one. <laughs> Look at the little duck pond. So now we are heading to the walnut tree area. And there are amazing walnuts. What a spot. That is an amazing pool. Oh, well done, Oliver. Thank you. Mm. Oh, very nice. What do you want from me? I'm sorry, that was very rude of me. There we go. Wonderful. And down here is the adega, the dance floor. Nice. We have this Alexis Taberna here. Perfect. It's a great space for really dancing. Nice. This is our main Palazzo pool area. <gasps> this has a beautiful bar space. Keep getting better and better. Oliver, we're in heaven. I don't think we're going to move Oliver from that seat for some time. <laughs> beautiful colour for the pool. Yeah. It's jaw dropping. <laughs> Ollie, I'm going to go for a swim. I brought my swimming costume. Bohemia, come. Oh my goodness, think... look at the kitchen. Beautiful dog. Hello. Hello. Here comes the naughty one. She is the youngest of all. Hello. She is Bohemia, the naughty one. <laughs> Hello, Pluto. So this place, actually what we do is we give this exclusively to the people who book the entire place. Beautiful. 
when the owners are in their property, they normally like to have like finger food, canopies with some wine, and they also invite guests to join them. It's just incredible. This is a beautiful feature. Look at the doors up there. Isn't it? Oh, it really yeah. Gosh. That's the mother of Mr. Alex. This is this Alex and Alex. Aline. My goodness. Handsome couple, beautiful. Love her dress as well and those gloves. So elegant. Oh, look at this room. Stephanie, look at this room. The light in this place is just, it's just amazing. Oh, it really is. The splash of colour against in this white room is lovely, isn't it? Tartan against the white. Look at these frames. Oh, yes. So uh, beautifully done to choose a frame like that for that painting's perfect. It highlights the simplicity of the yeah, painting. It's amazing. You'd think it would detract from it, but it doesn't, it adds. It feels so much like a home. I, I totally understand when you say it's not a hotel, it really isn't. It's, it's, it it's is a absolutely home. a home. Stephanie, my turn to drag you away now. Oh. There are times in life when you just have to pinch yourself, and this is one of them. Ollie and I cannot believe that we are staying here. We brought our snacks and our sparkling wine out and we're going to enjoy that in the pool with that view. Do you suppose there's the option of staying on a more permanent basis, Ollie? We could just call Philip, Camilla, your daughters, Mummy, Percy, Jerry, Tatiana, and Stephen, Anne-Marie, Natty, Maria, Marie, Pavlina. I mean, just a few people to come and join us. <laughs> This is awkward, you've just offended about 10,000 people. That I but... haven't mentioned. Yeah. Shall we have Michael Potts, Nick, Murray and Antoine as well? Oh, why not? Go on. Isn't this lovely? Thank you so much to Arlene and Alex for allowing us to come here. I mean, it's such a privilege. It really is. And it's such a shame that you're not here this evening because we would have loved to meet you both. Right, I... I'm going in the pool. Dun dun dun! <laughs> I don't know what to film. I think I might need this. I'm not planning on going far. You should come in. I would do, but no swimming costume. Not on me anyway. Might have one in my suitcase, but I won't mention that. Oh my goodness. So, Stephanie, a penny for your thoughts. Basically an overwhelming pool of gratitude right now to be surrounded by so much it beauty. It is absolutely overwhelming and we've got more palaces tomorrow. <laughs> We're looking at a couple of palaces and we might even be staying in one. I'm oh, keeping that from you. you. Now. Yes. Holly's been dealing with the accommodation for this trip, except for the Toral Palace in Porto. Yeah. I have to say, the first night that you've arranged, it's a bit of a triumph, Holly. And just to say again, Arlene and Alex, so I saw this, I was looking at places to stay in Sintra and this one just popped out of me because, I mean, of the view. And I contacted and Arlene said she'd watched the Chateau Diaries. It's amazing. So it's, you know, it's the, it's the power of 
connectivity now in the world, which is incredible. And we're just so grateful. <laughs> you can tell how grateful I am. I'm just going to have to go and faint somewhere. <laughs> how about on a lounger? I might go and faint on a lounger. Not in the pool. No, they're definitely not, no. <laughs> oh. Well, doesn't get any better than this, does it? It's so deep. So I can stand on the last step and then... Oh. <laughs> It's a tough life, isn't it, Ollie? But someone's got to do it. We're putting ourselves in the front line here, going to find places to show all of you. <laughs> oh dear. We're going to go to a few palaces. Oh, more palaces tomorrow. Oh no. You must be exhausted. You must what a day. <laughs> do you suppose palazzo fatigue is a possibility? No, never. Yeah, no, I think I'm with you. I don't think it is. I can't believe you didn't bring us from this. I may have done, but I just maybe don't want to wear it. I just don't think the viewers need that after all this beauty. It's just not what the viewers need. You basically just don't want to show the viewers too much beauty. You're worried it will push them over the edge. Well, as I get ready for bed, this is the view from my terrace. Good night, everyone.